Welcome to the hidden world of carnivorous plants, a realm where flora turns fauna into food. Think you know them all? Think again. From the famous Venus flytrap to the lesser-known yet equally fascinating species, each of these botanical marvels has evolved unique and sometimes bizarre ways to capture and digest their prey. Ready to delve into a world where plants are not just passive but active predators, let's explore 20 of these incredible carnivorous plants that you probably never knew existed. Number 1. Pitcher Plants nature's ingenious trap. Pitcher plants, comprising varieties like Saracenia and Nepenthes, are nature's masterful insect catchers. These plants have evolved into sophisticated traps, luring their prey with nectar and vibrant colors. The unsuspecting insects, drawn by these alluring features, soon find themselves on a slippery slope. Quite literally. The inner walls of these pitchers are coated with a smooth, often waxy surface, making escape nearly impossible. Once inside, the prey tumbles into a pool of digestive fluid at the bottom. This liquid, a concoction of enzymes and acids, efficiently breaks down the hapless insect, turning it into a nutrient-rich soup that the plant absorbs. This method of feeding allows pitcher plants to thrive in nutrient-poor environments where other plants struggle. Interestingly, the size and shape of the pitcher vary widely among species, adapting to local prey. Some, like the giant Nepenthes, can even trap small vertebrates and mammals. Despite their deadly nature to insects, these plants are a visual spectacle for humans, displaying a wide range of colors and patterns. Their exotic appearance often makes them a favorite among plant enthusiasts. Number 2. Sticky and Deadly – Sundews Sundews, belonging to the genus Drosera, are fascinating carnivorous plants that employ a sticky strategy to snare their prey. Picture this delicate leaves covered in tiny, sparkling droplets. But don't be fooled by their dainty appearance. These droplets are a sticky, deadly trap. Insects attracted to the dew-like substance find themselves hopelessly ensnared. The more they struggle, the more entangled they become. What follows is a slow, relentless process. The sundew's leaves slowly curl around the trapped insect, ensuring maximum contact with the sticky glands. This is not just a physical trap. It's also a chemical one. The glands secrete digestive enzymes that break down the insect, turning it into a nutrient-rich meal that the plant absorbs through its leaves. This method is particularly useful in nutrient-poor, often acidic soils where sundews typically grow. They can be found in a variety of habitats worldwide, from the bogs of North America to the plains of Australia. Each species has adapted to its environment, showing a wide range in size and form. Number 3. The Iconic Venus Flytrap The Venus Flytrap Dionea muscipula is perhaps the most iconic of all carnivorous plants, a true celebrity of the botanical world. Native to the subtropical wetlands of the east coast of the United States, this remarkable plant has fascinated scientists and enthusiasts alike for centuries. Its fame lies in its highly specialized leaves, which have evolved into jaw-like traps. These traps are a marvel of nature's engineering. Trigger hairs inside the trap are sensitive to the slightest touch, ensuring that the plant doesn't waste energy snapping at false alarms like falling leaves or raindrops. When an unsuspecting insect touches these hairs twice, the trap snaps shut in a fraction of a second, faster than you can blink. Once closed, the trap forms an airtight seal, effectively imprisoning the prey. Digestive enzymes are then secreted to break down the insect, turning it into a soup of nutrients that the plant absorbs. This process allows the Venus flytrap to thrive in its native nutrient-poor soils. Number 4. Butterworts, the sticky digesters. Butterworts, or pinguicula, are a genus of carnivorous plants that employ a sticky strategy to capture their prey. These plants have developed a unique mechanism to survive in nutrient-deficient environments. Their leaves are covered in a sticky, glandular substance that attracts and traps unsuspecting insects. Once an insect lands on the leaf, it finds itself stuck in the plant's glue-like secretion. The struggle of the trapped insect triggers the leaf to slowly curl inwards, increasing the contact with the sticky surface and the digestive glands. These glands then secrete enzymes that break down the insect, 
extracting vital nutrients such as nitrogen, which are scarce in their native habitats. Butterworts exhibit a fascinating diversity in their morphology and habitat. They are found in a variety of environments, from the temperate regions of North America and Europe to the tropical climates of Central and South America. During their flowering season, they produce beautiful, often vibrant flowers, which stand in stark contrast to their lethal leaves. Number 5. Bladderworts, Aquatic Predators Bladderworts belonging to the genus Utricularia are a group of carnivorous plants with a unique trapping mechanism. They are predominantly aquatic, inhabiting freshwaters and wet soils across the world, with a few species thriving in terrestrial environments. What makes bladderworts truly remarkable is their use of bladder-like traps to capture prey. These bladders, tiny and often translucent, are vacuum traps. They create a negative pressure inside by pumping out water. The trap door of the bladder is tightly sealed, and the slightest disturbance by a small aquatic creature triggers it to open. In a rapid blink-and-you-miss-it moment, the prey, along with water, is sucked into the bladder. The door then shuts immediately, trapping the prey inside. Inside the bladder, the plant secretes enzymes to digest the captured organism, usually small invertebrates, absorbing the much-needed nutrients. This trapping mechanism is considered one of the most sophisticated and fastest in the plant kingdom. Some bladderworts can reset their traps in mere minutes, ready to capture the next meal. Number 6. Cobra Lily the serpent of the plant world. The cobra lily, scientifically known as Darlingtonia californica, stands out in the carnivorous plant world with its unique serpent-like appearance. Native to the northern parts of California and Oregon, this plant thrives in nutrient-poor, waterlogged soils. Its common name is derived from its striking, resemblance to a rearing cobra, complete with a forked leaf resembling a snake's tongue and a hooded structure akin to a snake's head. This menacing look isn't just for show. It's an integral part of the plant's trapping mechanism. Insects are lured into the hooded structure by the translucent areas that mimic exits. These false exits confuse the prey, leading them further into the trap. Once inside, the slippery walls and downward-pointing hairs prevent the insect from escaping, eventually forcing it down into the digestive region of the plant. The cobra lily's method of digestion is unique among carnivorous plants. It secretes bacteria rather than digestive enzymes. These bacteria break down the prey, and the plant then absorbs the nutrients released by this process. This symbiotic relationship with bacteria sets it apart from other pitcher plants. Number 7. Waterwheel Plant, the Aquatic Snap Trap The waterwheel plant, Aldrovanda vesiculosa, is a remarkable aquatic carnivorous plant, often considered the aquatic counterpart to the Venus flytrap. This rootless, free-floating plant is found in still and slow-moving freshwater bodies across Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. It captures its prey with small, snap-trap structures that are submerged underwater. The waterwheel plant's traps are arranged along a central stem, resembling the spokes of a wheel, a feature that inspired its common name. These traps, typically only a few millimeters long, operate on a mechanism similar to the Venus flytrap. They snap shut in milliseconds upon detecting prey, such as small aquatic invertebrates. The speed of this action is essential for the plant, as it compensates for the lack of roots to anchor itself for a more prolonged attack. Each trap has trigger hairs that, when touched, cause the lobes of the trap to snap shut, capturing the prey. Once trapped, the prey is digested over several days through enzymes secreted by the plant, after which the trap reopens to catch more food. Number 8. Brochinia reducta, the carnivorous bromeliad. Brochinia reducta, a member of the bromeliad family, stands out for its adaptation to carnivory, a rare trait in this family. Found in the nutrient-poor, sandy soils of the Guiana Highlands in South America, this plant has developed a unique mechanism to supplement its nutrient intake by trapping and digesting insects. At first glance, Brochinia reducta might look like a typical bromeliad, with a rosette of thick, overlapping leaves. However, its leaves are coated with a waxy, slippery substance and arranged in such a way that they form a funnel. Insects attracted to the plant, often by its bright color or the water collected in its central cup, slip on the waxy leaves, 
and fall into the funnel. Once inside, they drown in the water collected at the base of the plant, which contains digestive enzymes. This method of trapping prey is somewhat passive compared to other carnivorous plants, but it's highly effective in its environment. The enzymes in the water break down the insects, releasing nutrients that are then absorbed by the plant. This additional source of nutrients gives Brokenia reducta an advantage in the harsh nutrient-deficient conditions it often grows in. Number 9. Catopsis berteroniana, another carnivorous bromeliad. Catopsis berteroniana is another fascinating member of the bromeliad family that has ventured into the world of carnivory. Native to Central and South America, this plant is often found in the canopy of rainforests, a location that plays a crucial role in its method of trapping prey. Catopsis berteroniana has adapted to its aerial environment by developing a passive yet effective way of catching insects. The plant's leaves form a loose rosette with a central cup that collects rainwater. This water reservoir is not just for hydration, it becomes a deadly pool for unsuspecting insects. The leaves of Catopsis berteroniana are coated with a fine layer of scales that reflect ultraviolet light, attracting insects. These insects, lured by the light and perhaps seeking water, often find themselves slipping into the central cup. Once trapped in the water, the insects drown and are subsequently digested by enzymes produced by the plant. This additional nutrient source is vital for Catopsis berteroniana, as it allows the plant to thrive in nutrient-poor environments typical of the high canopies. The plant's subtle approach to carnivory, along with its ability to thrive in the treetops, makes it a unique example of evolutionary adaptation in the plant kingdom. Number 10. The Rainbow Plant, Biblis. The rainbow plant, or Biblis, is a captivating carnivorous plant known for its shimmering, dew-covered appearance. Native to Australia and New Guinea, these plants have developed a unique method of capturing their prey, similar to sundews. Biblis plants are often adorned with long, slender leaves covered in tiny glands that produce a sticky, mucilaginous substance. This glistening secretion is highly effective at trapping small insects, primarily flying ones. The beauty of Biblis lies in its delicate, almost ethereal appearance. When sunlight hits the dew-covered leaves, they sparkle like rainbows, giving the plant its common name. But for the insects attracted to this dazzling display, the outcome is fatal. Once an insect is ensnared in the sticky droplets, it becomes immobilized. The plant then secretes enzymes that digest the insect, absorbing essential nutrients from its decomposing body. Biblis is often found in nutrient-poor, sandy soils, environments where traditional sources of nourishment for plants are scarce. This has driven their evolution towards carnivory, allowing them to supplement their nutrient intake through their insect prey. Despite their predatory nature, Biblis plants also produce delicate flowers, typically purple or blue, adding to their enchanting appearance. Number 11. Australian Pitcher Plant, Cephalotus Follicularis the Australian pitcher plant, Cephalotus follicularis, is a rare and distinctive carnivorous plant native to a small region in southwest Australia. Unlike other pitcher plants that are part of larger genera, Cephalotus follicularis is the only species in its genus, making it a unique study in plant adaptation and evolution. This small, ground-hugging plant features a rosette of non-carnivorous leaves and a separate set of pitcher-shaped leaves that form the trap. These pitchers, typically only a few centimeters tall, are a marvel of nature's design. They lure insects with nectar secreted around the rim and inner walls. The inner surface of the pitcher is slippery, causing insects to fall into the deep cavity where they become trapped in a pool of digestive enzymes. What makes the Australian pitcher plant particularly interesting is its dual leaf morphology. The non-carnivorous leaves perform photosynthesis, while the pitcher leaves are solely for trapping prey. This duality is a unique adaptation to its environment, a response to the nutrient-poor, acidic soils in which it grows. The Australian pitcher plant is not only a carnivore, but also a survivor, enduring the harsh conditions of its native habitat. Its pitchers exhibit a deep red or green color, making it an attractive plant for collectors. However, its popularity and the limited natural range have made it a vulnerable species highlighting the importance of conservation efforts for these unique botanical wonders. Number 12. 
Sun Pitcher Plant, Heliumphora. The Sun Pitcher Plant, belonging to the genus Heliumphora, is a captivating group of carnivorous plants native to South America, particularly the tepuis of Venezuela. These plants are notable for their elongated, pitcher-like traps that resemble the pitchers of the Saracenia but with a distinct tropical flair. The name Sun Pitcher stems from their tendency to grow in open, sun-drenched environments, unlike many of their shadow-loving carnivorous counterparts. Heliamphora's pitchers are not just passive containers but sophisticated traps. The inner walls are slick and waxy, making it nearly impossible for insects lured by nectar to escape. The rim of the pitcher, known as the peristome, is often brightly colored and emits a sweet scent to attract prey. Once inside, the insects lose their footing and slide into the digestive liquid at the bottom of the pitcher. Interestingly, Heliamphora species often lack the digestive enzymes found in other pitcher plants. Instead, they rely on symbiotic bacteria and rainwater to break down the prey. This unique approach to digestion highlights the diverse evolutionary paths taken by carnivorous plants. The sun pitcher plant's adaptation to nutrient-poor, acidic soils through carnivory is a testament to nature's resilience. These plants are not just efficient predators, but also stunning in appearance, with their tall, graceful pitchers adding a touch of otherworldly beauty to their rugged mountain habitats. Number 13. Corkscrew Plant Genlacea's Underground Strategy Genlacea, commonly known as the corkscrew plant, employs one of the most intriguing strategies in the carnivorous plant world. Unlike many of its peers, this plant's traps are not visible above the ground but are instead buried in the substrate. Found in wet, sandy soils in Africa and South America, Genlacea has adapted to an underground lifestyle to capture its prey, primarily small protozoans and other microorganisms. The trapping mechanism of Genlacea is a complex subterranean maze of modified leaves shaped like corkscrews. These leaves, or lobster pot traps, lure microorganisms into their spiraled tubes with chemical attractants. Once inside, the prey finds it increasingly difficult to navigate the convoluted passages, eventually getting trapped. At the heart of these spirals are digestive glands that absorb nutrients from the decomposed microorganisms. This underground hunting strategy allows Genlacea to thrive in nutrient-poor environments where traditional forms of nourishment are scarce. The corkscrew plant, while not as visually dramatic as some of its carnivorous counterparts, represents a fascinating adaptation to environmental challenges. Its hidden yet highly effective method of nutrient acquisition is a remarkable example of evolutionary innovation in the plant kingdom. Number 14. Rorigula, the outsourcing predator. Rorigula, a unique genus of plants native to South Africa, presents a fascinating twist in the carnivorous plant narrative. At first glance, Rorigula plants resemble the sundew, with sticky glandular hairs covering their leaves. However, unlike most carnivorous plants that digest and absorb nutrients from their prey, Rorigula adopts a different approach. It outsources the digestion process. The sticky resin produced by Rorigula effectively traps insects, much like the sundews. However, Rorigula lacks the digestive enzymes to break down these insects. This is where the plant's symbiotic relationship with a specialized bug, Pameridia roriduli, comes into play. These bugs can move freely among the sticky hairs without getting trapped, feeding on the ensnared insects. As they feed, they excrete waste, which is rich in nutrients. Rorigula then absorbs these nutrients through its leaves, completing the nutrient acquisition process. This unusual partnership is a remarkable example of mutualism in nature. The plant provides a constant food supply for the bugs, while the bugs aid in the plant's nutrition. This indirect method of nutrient absorption allows Rorigula to survive in the nutrient-poor soils of its native habitat. Number 15. Philcoxia, the underground trap. Philcoxia stands as a unique example in the carnivorous plant world with a subterranean approach to trapping prey. Native to the arid, nutrient-poor soils of Brazil, this genus comprises small, inconspicuous plants with a remarkable underground trapping mechanism. Unlike most carnivorous plants that display their traps above ground, Philcoxia's traps are mostly buried in the sand. The plant's leaves are thin, 
thread-like structures that lie just beneath the soil's surface. These leaves are covered with tiny, sticky glands, adept at trapping tiny nematodes and other small soil organisms. Once the prey is captured, the plant secretes enzymes to digest it, absorbing the released nutrients essential for its survival in such a challenging environment. Philcoxia's adaptation to underground trapping is a fascinating example of evolution driven by extreme habitat conditions. It challenges the traditional view of carnivorous plants, showcasing the diverse strategies plants can evolve to capture prey. Philcoxia may be less conspicuous than its more flamboyant carnivorous counterparts, but its unique underground lifestyle is a testament to the adaptability and ingenuity of nature. Number 16. Drosophyllum, the dry land carnivore. Drosophyllum, commonly known as the Portuguese sundew or dewy pine, defies the typical carnivorous plant habitat by thriving in dry, not nutrient-poor soils. Native to the Iberian Peninsula and Morocco, this plant is an anomaly among its peers, thriving in semi-arid environments where most carnivorous species would struggle. The dewy pine employs a passive yet effective method of trapping prey. Its long, slender leaves are covered in a sticky mucilage, glistening in the sun, attracting unsuspecting insects. Once an insect lands, on the leaf, it becomes ensnared in the sticky substance. The more it struggles, the more entangled it becomes, eventually succumbing to exhaustion. The plant then secretes enzymes to digest the insect, absorbing the nutrients. Drosophyllum's ability to survive and even flourish in dry climates challenges the common perception that carnivorous plants are restricted to wet, boggy environments. Its presence in these arid regions signifies an extraordinary adaptation to limited water and nutrient availability. This plant's unique habitat preference and feeding strategy make it a remarkable example of evolutionary adaptation and survival. Number 17. Trifiophyllum peltatum, carnivorous in youth. Trifiophyllum peltatum presents a unique life cycle in the world of carnivorous plants. Found in West Africa, this plant exhibits carnivorous behavior only during its juvenile stage, a rare phenomenon among its peers. In its early stages, Trifiophyllum peltatum displays long, slender leaves coated with sticky glands, similar to those of a sundew, effectively trapping and digesting small insects. During this carnivorous juvenile phase, the plant gains essential nutrients through its insect prey, a crucial adaptation for survival in nutrient-poor soil. This phase lasts until the plant reaches a certain level of maturity. As it transitions to adulthood, the plant's focus shifts from capturing insects to photosynthesis. The adult plant develops non-carnivorous broad leaves and eventually produces flowers and seeds, typical of non-carnivorous plants. This shift from a carnivorous juvenile to a non-carnivorous adult is a fascinating example of developmental plasticity in plants. Trifiophyllum peltatum's life cycle reflects an extraordinary adaptation strategy, where the plant exploits different nutrient acquisition methods at various stages of its life. This versatility allows it to optimize its survival and reproductive success in a challenging environment. Trifiophyllum peltatum's ability to switch between carnivorous and non-carnivorous modes of nutrition is not just a curiosity. It provides valuable insights into plant evolution and adaptability. This plant's unique life strategy serves as a reminder of the diverse and sometimes unexpected pathways that life can take in the quest for survival. Number 18. Ibicella lutea, the mimic. Ibicella lutea, often mistaken for a carnivorous plant, is an intriguing example of a protocarnivorous plant. Native to South America, it has developed a unique method of trapping insects, but unlike true carnivorous plants, it does not digest them. The plant, with its bright yellow flowers and sticky gland-covered leaves, lures and traps insects, but solely for defensive purposes rather than nutritional. The sticky substance on the leaves of Ibicella lutea ensnares small insects, primarily acting as a deterrent against pests and herbivores that might damage the plant. This mechanism of trapping without digestion is what sets it apart from the typical carnivorous plants. Despite this, its deceptive appearance often leads to it being classified among carnivorous species. Ibicella lutea's adaptation to its environment highlights the varied survival strategies plants can evolve. Its ability to mimic carnivorous plants, 
yet not fully adopt their characteristics, is a fascinating example of evolutionary experimentation in the plant kingdom. It's a reminder of the fine line between different survival strategies and how plants can exhibit traits that blur these boundaries. Number 19. Pinguicula morinensis, the Mexican beauty. Pinguicula morinensis, commonly known as the Mexican butterwort, is a stunning species in the carnivorous plant world. Native to Mexico, it thrives in moist, shady environments, often growing on rocks. Its beauty lies not just in its carnivorous nature, but also in its striking flowers, making it a favorite among enthusiasts. The leaves of Pinguicula morinensis are covered in a sticky, glandular substance that traps small insects, much like its carnivorous cousins. The plant secretes enzymes to digest the trapped insects, absorbing essential nutrients. This adaptation is particularly beneficial in the nutrient-poor environments where it typically grows. During the flowering season, Pinguicula morinensis produces beautiful, vibrant flowers that starkly contrast with its insect-trapping leaves. The flowers, ranging in color from purple to pink, add an ornamental value to this otherwise lethal plant. This duality of delicate beauty and deadly function is a captivating aspect of Pinguicula morinensis. Number 20. Saracenia purpurea, the hardy North American. Saracenia purpurea, commonly known as the purple pitcher plant, is a robust, carnivorous plant native to North America. It is distinguished by its striking purple pitchers and resilience in colder climates, a trait not commonly found in pitcher plants. The pitchers of Saracenia purpurea are bell-shaped and lie close to the ground, filled with a mixture of rainwater and digestive enzymes. The plant lures insects with nectar and a colorful, inviting appearance. Once an insect lands on the pitcher, it finds the surface slippery and falls into the liquid below. The plant then digests the prey, absorbing vital nutrients. What sets Saracenia purpurea apart is its ability to withstand colder temperatures, making it a widespread species in North America, from the Canadian tundra to the southeastern United States. This hardiness allows it to occupy a diverse range of habitats, from boggy areas to open grasslands, Saracenia purpurea is not just a predator, it also plays a significant role in its ecosystem. Its pitchers provide a habitat for various small organisms, creating a mini-ecosystem. This plant's adaptability, striking appearance, and ecological importance make it a fascinating subject in the study of carnivorous plants and their role in the natural world.